Once again, folks, we're back to the Elba. Lanzarote, beautiful island, great weather, and again, one of my favorite hotels. This time, a little bit more in depth on the things going on, the rooms, the grounds, and of course, the all important cabaret nights. So first of all, we're gonna take a trip from the room to the main reception. It's quite a bit of walking involved. Even though everything is on a low level, it's only one story. So there's four in a block. You've got plenty of room outside. You've got your own sun beds. So you can see from the walk, lovely grounds, and of course, the room. Loads of outside space. This time we went for slight upgrade so we had a bedroom with a lounge which gave you a little bit more room if you want to you can just lay outside you don't really even need to leave the room at all but you can go to the adult pool or you can go to the big pool with the families we always go adult only a bit of peace and quiet but if you want to do the family thing, there's, there's loads of facilities for it. And that's all around the big pool. This is the adult pool. Normally there's some beds there because obviously everybody won't be at the pool. They'll be at the big pool or they'll be at their own little sunbed. You can have lunch at the adult pool so you can stay there all day if you want. It's nice and quiet. Plenty of beds. The Mirador restaurant, which is upstairs, again, that's adults only, but obviously you've got to book adults only. Plenty of varied food, lovely breakfast, as you can see. Great choice, uh, obviously buffet at night. You can sit inside or outside. Food is just a touch salty this time, so I don't know, maybe the chef have changed slightly but it's still good and there's still plenty for everyone and obviously if you're going all inclusive then there's plenty of drink. Lunch is downstairs in the main restaurant if you're all inclusive which again has got loads of variety it's always pretty busy down there because obviously everybody else goes there so if you want your own little place you have to get in handy at lunchtime. Night time, there's entertainment downstairs and there's entertainment upstairs. More family entertainment downstairs. There's always one or two really good acts on downstairs. And then you've got various things, the animation team, uh, there's a karaoke night. But upstairs as always, these are my favorites. Great night with Pad. Great night with Venny. I thought it was much better this time so she could dance. Eric, always doing his soul, but some new entertainers who are very good. There's only a small dance floor upstairs, but that's not too bad because when it's nice, uh, when it's the nicer weather, then it extends out a bit to the outside. So there's plenty of room. You get up and dance and enjoy yourself. Varied acts. And on the last night, we even had what was supposed to be a karaoke and a disco. So the stuff in the afternoon, fabulous equipment. This is going to be a cracking night. What more can you want? But what you do want is the DJ to turn up. So by 10 o'clock, we were almost taking it over because there was no sign of the DJ. When the DJ finally arrived, I think he landed from Mars because he was obviously on another planet. Didn't have a clue, no idea. I just put music on that he felt like playing. And then he went home early. So that's one of the few nights we've had a not so good cabaret there. Well, it was a DJ, but well, he thought he was a DJ anyway. So, still enjoyed it. You'll love the place. And I've got to say, it's one of the best 
value for money places that we go to. Check it out. We class this as a couple's holiday, adults only, but there is the family side if you want to do it. Enjoy it!